Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm joined by the wonderful Marcus Mena, and uh, he's going to teach me a few riffs from his upcoming album, Fruit Island, which is available on the 28th of August, and it's now available for pre-order over on his Bandcamp page. And yeah, he's going to teach me a few riffs from it and make me look bad, but uh, what the heck, <laughs> going to have some fun. So uh, if you want to say hi, Marcus. Hey, you know, you're going to have fun. This is going to be, this is a fun experience. <laughs> Pain-free. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, and uh, I haven't looked at any of these songs just to just to preface that as well. And uh, Marcus has sent me a tab over, but uh, just before this video started, and I'll put those up on screen if I can. If I can't fit them on there, then they'll be over on um, my website or something like that. And uh, thanks for tabbing them out as well, because I'm sure a lot of the, your fans will want to actually learn some of these riffs. So. Yeah, totally. These are the I tried to think of the hardest ones, unfortunately for you. <laughs> Uh, okay. just, I, I wanted to find also the most unique ones, like ones that you wouldn't find in other songs. It's something that is a little bit special to the song. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see how this is going to go. So Yeah, I'm interested in learning your uh, tapping style. And I think I'm going to pick up a few new techniques, so I'm happy with that. So uh, which one would you like to do, do first? Let's try Kiwi. And so for Kiwi, you're going to be in D-A-E, A-C sharp E tuning. It's like that Midwestern oh, tuning. Okay. Yeah, and then nope, if- No problem, my other, my other guitar's actually in that tune. <laughs> so just, yeah, swap out, that's nice, that's convenient. And then you're gonna want a capo, so you when you're going, you get the capo, put it on capo three. I was doing some tiny moving parts stuff, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I had, I had, this is kind of like an homage to the, the Midwest style, a little bit, this song. So this one's up until, I guess until this video will be released, not, not out yet, but uh, you'll be able to hear it right now. Okay. There's two versions of this that I included. There's one, it's like easier. And then if we get to that one, I thought we could do the part two and I'll at least show you because when the riff repeats, we add something. So I thought we'd do like the more basic one first and then we can okay. go from there and see what happens. All right, so I'll just do, I guess I'll just do a quick like, you know, this is what you should be doing sort of thing. And then, you know, you'll, you'll be looking at the tabs you can follow along. So with one hand, you're doing kind of this ostinato pattern on the 12th fret, which is actually the 15th fret because you know, the capo. Fret, okay. Yeah, so it's, okay. pre it's, pre it's pretty simple, you know, just. And that's, that's pretty much, you're just doing that a bunch. Um, and then at the end of the phrase, you're gonna take your um, ring finger and go uh, do like a slide, like 12 to 10, just like that. So yeah. then the trick is with your left hand, you're doing a separate rhythm, which is kind of like syncopated. So it's gonna sound like this all together. So it's a little hard. <laughs> So the trick. I mean, I can see what you're doing, but the the audio is also quite washed out. But I'll try it. I'll try. Okay, to okay, yeah. I mean, the, the, so the so the trick really is just uh, these bar chords. You're, it's every three notes on your right hand. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then oh, I guess well then it changes. Sorry, I wrote it, but I forgot it. <laughs> so yeah, it's like three and then four and then three and then four and then three. I'm not being a good teacher. First thing is this this pattern down here. Just hammering. Yeah, on. yep, exactly. So then you just have to pay attention to the left and you're you're gonna wanna go over the neck. You could do it right here, but it I feel like it makes it a little easier on the wrist just to kinda use one finger and, and pull off and sort of. And um what is your fretting hand doing? So Um Yeah, so I so I got it I got I got it over the neck this way and then it's kinda like a slap like this, yeah. And then it's like a pull off. Just kind of like that so uh um, yeah yeah and then you're just doing bar chords but the trick is the rhythm it's not really the notes so yeah the rhythm is uh and so that's it's a little hard just to like yeah Yeah, no, you got, you get, that's the general idea. And then, so the first time you just pull off, so it's... It just... Yeah, yeah. It's, so, uh, yes. Yeah, yep, just like that. And then, yep. so left, right hand is just doing... Yeah, I think you got that at least. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah no that's that's it that's the idea you know congrats already for learning that part that's pretty hard and that's pretty much a gist it just kind of alternates but i feel like you've already kind of got it you know it okay. could, yeah That's the basic idea, right. yeah. No, that's the basic, and and having not known the song, also, that's that's really good. And then, uh, so then it from this pattern, where does it go? So so then it goes, so it goes. So I actually messed that up a little bit. Yeah, so that's so that's pretty that's pretty hard. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, I see you do that all the time. So there's something I've not really tried. So it's a uh, and then the second one. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then it's kind of that tag at the end, which is like that's a little tricky because you have to go and then you have to replace your finger there, which is like really hard. So, so hammer yeah, hammer on and then slide up uh, from five to seven, yeah. and then you know, same basically same thing, but then you go back to the five, the fifth fret. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Uh, no, no problem. I knew you'd get this one. <laughs> this is the one I thought you would be able to get. <laughs> you did no you did no you're doing great seriously that's perfect yeah so so all, all together you know if we're putting everything so for that for that part anyways so it's like kind of a backwards you have to do like a backwards pull off so kind of do this stroke middle finger seven to nine and then index on the fifth fret of the d string or the e string and then middle finger on the next string of the fourth, and then just pull off. So, so when we we come pull off the slide, and then index finger comes down on the fifth fret of the D string or the the fourth string, and then fourth fourth fret of the third string, and then pull off. Oh, but you're 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 doing it like extra. You're going like with your right hand. I do it all with the left hand. That way I don't have to move because otherwise, like you have to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun yet? <laughs> yeah, sure. I know this is cool. I, I, you know, I like learning new things. So. Right, and then you combine that phrase with. And then that's the tag at the end. So that's the part from before. Yeah, and that's all. And then all together. And that's now you're me. Now you're Marcos Mena. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> you passed the basic train. Yeah. So that's so that's. I mean, you basically got the riff. So the I included a part two, which you don't have to learn, but I thought I'd at least show you because it's it's basically. That is the first time around of that riff. And then it happens yeah. again, but then I decided I want to make the riff harder. So what I did is the first time you're going like this. Right, that's the first time. The second time with my free finger, I'm doing like another ostinato pattern on the high E. So it goes like this. So if you open up the second tab, I'm... It's going. So I'm, I'm hitting this high fifth fret at the same time. So I'm going. That's really, really hard. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's that riff. So. Uh, that's a really that's a really cool riff. Um, I, I like a, I'll put that in the tab so. Yeah, uh, at the very least, you can offer it to people. That's that's totally yeah, that's yeah. totally chill. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so uh, 
Let's try nap next because it'll switch it up a little bit. It won't be so uh, monotonous with the, you know, multiple stuff. So in, for that one, it's FAC GCE tuning. Yeah, capo on fifth and then... Oh, it's still, it's very rhythmic. There's not really a whole lot of note playing. Um, and okay. you, you could possibly interpret this your own way. This one's nap. Okay. This is the, the first like real track of the record or whatever. Well, is this after after the intros? The, the intro song is just you, right? Uh, yeah, this is, this, is, this is me. And then the drums are basically just following this pattern. So okay. um, I just opened up the tab and I'm already regretting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So basically, yeah, so basically you need to use the thumping technique. Um, you can use any, you can really, you can even pick it if you really want. It would actually be a lot easier if you did, but the whole point of it is is uh, to get the rhythmic sound. So if I didn't use it and I used it with a pick instead, this is kind of what it would sound like. So like that's, that's like a normal, easy way to play it. And so the way okay. I play it, which is the <laughs> hard way, is we're gonna use the thumping technique. And so you, you basically kind of go up and down, like with your thumb like this. And if you want to do it the, the picking way, that's fine. Um, but basically we go up and down and then with our other hand, we're gonna be muting. So then okay. we're gonna like sync our left hand so that it opens up whenever there's an open, like where there's a zero on the tab. So basically it goes, you know, up and down. And then once you can do that, yeah, so basically it goes. Yeah. So your thumb, your thumb, you're just keeping like. I keep it straight. Super, super straight. Yeah, it's all on the wrist. Yeah, super straight. So. And you're keeping your fingers around the seventh and eighth. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, so then, so then for that part, it gets a little tricky because I use a little raschiato. So I go, or, so, and then that's, yeah. So, so for that part, you can, you can basically just strum it. I just do it that way. So you can go, you know, just for that part, it's strummed. Yeah. They, they took your fingers here, right? Right, right. I got um, X X O X X O X X X O. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so for the second bar, um, those two X's right there that are um, 16th or they're 30 second notes. They might throw you for a loop. What I do is I have my my left hand muting, kind of like this, and then I go. Um, so I do like a three there. Is that all on your phone then? Yes, yeah, so I'm going like slap open, and then two quick thirty second notes, and then a double thump. Slap, quick thirty second notes, and then double thump. Yeah, because you could do it with a pick and it would be way easier, but the thing is, is like when you're doing it with your thumb, it's way more percussive sounding. It sounds so cool, like... But then if you do it with like a, you know, a pick, it's just like... It just sounds kind of like not as cool. Yeah. It's like the extra 10... That's the extra 10% of it, I guess, but... That's what makes the riff kind of hard. Yeah. Usually what I do with these kind of tabs is I'll put them into Guitar Pro and I'll just loop the bar. Yeah, you know, and yeah. put it put it at like fifty percent speed, and then practice along like that and build it up. Yeah. yeah, no, that would be a great way to do it. Yeah, like, but like, you probably start with easier riffs for thumping if you're to do that. Yeah, and I'll, I will I'll send, I'll send you then, the guitar pro, I'll and you can you can practice it. Sure, sure. That whole song is really yeah, hard. Um, and in about um, a year's time, you'll see just these four bars on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> just the just the four bars, like eleven seconds, and you're like, I did it, I got it. And I, I just sped the video up. Oh my god, no. My head head movements are like all over the, the place. The shutter speed is like, <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Let me show you this last one. This one is probably... I'm really proud of this riff, but this riff is really hard. So, yeah, the tuning for this one is D, G, D, F sharp, A, D. So I was with Forrest Rice and we recorded this one together. Uh, it's just a drum and guitar song. There's nothing else. Um, some of the songs have, like, other, other production, but this one was just that. And um, this was, like, the hardest one for sure. Okay, so I just had to practice it because I didn't know if I could play it myself, so. <laughs> Is this the one that when you finally recorded it, you were like, I'm done with it? <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things that sounds better in Guitar Pro, and then you like start to play it in real life, and uh, it's just like, man, I really just made a bad call here. It's like a bad idea. <laughs> if you can get a little bit of this, I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy. So... Um, the, the thing about this riff, is it's, it's all about positioning. So there's a lot of num notes you can see. <laughs> it's a lot of notes. So the, yeah, so, so the positioning's important. So I have to also uh, explain, there were some like things that I was doing at the time, like experiments on how to position the hand on the guitar. So this is one sort of experiment. So okay. the way you're going to want to position your hand is going to be key. So what you want to do is take your index and middle finger of your right hand yeah. and place them on the both 12 frets and then only yeah. use the, only use them for that. So um, okay. basically this hand is going to be your anchor. It's not really going to move very much and you're going to be able to play like both the high end of the guitar and the low end. So it's kind of like its own backbeat machine. And so if you see there's a bunch of like zeros on the top, you're doing that all with your pinky. And so it's like... Right, so we haven't even gotten to the hard part yet. This is just the, this is the foundation. <laughs> Let's just, let's just, let's just ignore it. Let's just, let's just ignore that for now, so. So then, so then with your middle finger, you're gonna play the 11th fret on the A, of the G string. Yeah, so. So then basically, what you do is you do like this big sweeping thumb motion to start. And that plays everything. And then for the next part, you bring your right, your left hand down to the seventh fret, and then you do a, you do a pinky strum at the same time. So you go thumb, thumb first, thumb first. So yeah, like that basically. Right? Yeah, so it's always it's always thumb pinky. So you thumb pinky. That looks good. You got the first two notes of the riff. That's great. So, <laughs> yeah, so then, yeah, and then you do a power chord down here, and you tap them all at the same time. So, so the pinky is kind of keeping like this backbeat. It's always going like one and two and three and yeah, it's always doing and then basically you're playing stuff with your left hand like a melody sort of so it's like its own own vibe really uh then also it's a power chord you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. just yeah, slide yeah. up to the so you're sliding up with yeah i mean i i wrote slide um but i actually don't really do that very much so you don't have to you don't have to like pay attention to doing it perfectly like that um you can kind of just hammer on ball on and then start with that and then if you can slide you know Good. Yeah. So, okay. so once you got that, which like, you probably aren't 100%, but I just want to get to the next part, because then you have to reposition. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... So, so you're here at this position, and then you reposition, so your left, or your right hand, it goes to the 8th fret, and then that's kind of your new anchor. 
And then you start to do a bass line with your left hand. So it goes. Uh, so. Uh, Sorry, I kind of went off in a million directions, but basically, yeah, I mean, you can you can even just remove the right hand from the equation, and it's just. Here, sorry. Really, really cool riff. I, just just is breaking my brain, like trying to yeah tap this seventh fret right here and flick at the same time with the pink. Yeah, it it destroyed my brain. I was like crippled. I couldn't couldn't learn it. But well, I'm sure. Um, People watching this, like, how did you like uh, train that? Did just, but just by playing these kind of riffs, or did you like purposely do a particular exercise? Yeah, I guess I did. Like, I have some in my book, the compositional tapping oak, but also I, I don't really know how much is unfair genetic advantage because I, I have really large hands, so I'm just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a day one, a day one supporter there. <laughs> no, that's that's great. I mean, it's all in there, but also, like I said, like I feel like I have an unfair genetic advantage. My hands are just huge, like they're massive. Um, yeah. So, like my pinky is some, the size of some people's like thumb, or I don't know, yeah. whatever. Definitely, like, I, I got tiny, tiny. So, yeah, like, yeah. Like, See, like our yeah. yeah, my my pinky's a little well, bigger, but it's tough. But well, it's it's possible, yeah. you know. Of course, of course. Yeah. So I'll, let me let me show you. See what you think of. It's it's supposed to be a beautiful riff, but it just it's gonna hurt everyone's brain, you know. It'd be better instead of people listen to me trying to play it. You, you play the whole thing. I'll I'll give it a go. Okay, so half speed. Right. It's. then full speed. That was a little sloppy, so I gotta tighten that up before the show, but yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that, that's, uh, that's really cool. I, I love the way you do this moving, you know, the bass line. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a, that's the best part is like, if you have, if you're, you know, doing the two-handed tapping thing, it's like, you really have the freedom to like, do two parts and it's like, really cool, I think, in my opinion. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, um, that, that kind of taking care of the, the, uh, the rhythm guitar and the lead guitar at the same time in a way. You could, you could look at it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, just, just, just me and Forrest. So it's like, you know, might as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what did you? Yeah, that, that's 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 a really cool riff. I really like that. And uh, yeah, like I said, I've I've listened through the album, and yeah, it's definitely some like I'd say it's like your best work to date, and it sounds incredible. Thank you. I think I think everyone will enjoy it, and I, I can see you got a lot of pre-orders on your Bandcamp today. There was I was blown away at how much support you got. So yeah, I was I was stoked. Yeah, and we'll be doing a tab book like later in the month, so like in September. So if people want to break their fingers on this, they can. And they can pay me for it. <laughs> this is this is basic training, and then you can get the book when <laughs> get the uh, tab book. Well, the tabs when they're released. Uh. Oh, is there anything else you wanted to? Um, well, I want to say thanks for first for doing this video and for teaching me. Um, I'm going to dive into these riffs a bit later, and uh, I will I will attempt this one as well, and I'll. I'll probably film it <laughs> and show you what I where I can get to on it. But yeah. Now there's there's lots of riffs that are that aren't as as nearly as hard, and you know there's some that are really easy and fun. You know that's that's a big part of it too. But I'm I'm just glad you you soldiered through it and you had a good time. It was... <laughs> well, my, my takeaway from this is this hand's all right, but this one is uh needs a lot of work. <laughs> it's it's tough. Even if you do a lot of the two-handed tapping stuff like you do, it's really hard to like get the same dexterity in this hand because you just have been playing your whole life with this hand. All right, so um, uh, where can people find you that uh, haven't heard of you before? Um, yeah, so we got a website, uh, www.standards slash band.com, which I can link. You can put it in there. Yeah. What's your uh, Instagram and stuff like that? At 
we are standards. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw links down below as well so people can find it. And then I'll I'll get you a link to the book too. If it, I don't know, um, like I think I think it's gonna come out in late September, so it won't be out like right away. Um, Ooh. but yeah, if anybody, so there, I mean, there's that one, and then there's the the tab book. Oh yeah, so I was gonna say if anybody wants to learn how to play like you then basically get this book and this is over on your website as well yeah, we should plug your and book I, too I, because I, you did a book as well and no, no, i feel no, like that's no, all that's... you're like no 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 no. that's i mean that's that's a part of it too i feel like it's a lot of the chemistry that i you didn't get in mind it's like more more uh chord theory and more like other stuff yeah it's it's more aimed at like if you're new to all of this and you want to get into it and find some kind of structure to practicing i mean it's all my own thoughts and my own experiences so yeah um i can't say that it's going to be 100 percent what everyone's looking for but most people enjoy it so far right all right then so um yeah Thanks for thanks for joining me today, and uh, we'll we'll end it there for now. It's been quite a long video, but I hope everyone's enjoyed it. And please go and please go and listen to the tracks that are available um, for streaming now. Right, you have three or four at the moment. Yeah, and then you know pretty um, soon yeah. there's going to be the whole album. So go and check it out. Yep. Yeah, go and check it out. It's fantastic. And yeah, uh, as always, uh, thank you to all of the patrons that support the channel, and thank you for everyone for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Okay, goodbye. I gotta say, you look really tired. You look like exhausted. <laughs> the videos just took it all out. Like the the riffs just took it all out of you.